Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my new account from scratch series. I hope you're having a fantastic day as always. Let's get into the video. So I said at the end of my last episode that I'm going to be getting 92 construction this episode and that is true. I will be doing that. However, I'm not going to be doing it at the start of this episode just because I'm actually doing some blackjacking on the Iron Man. So I need something a little more AFK to do here. So I did a little bit of fishing. I didn't get a level. However, I noticed that when I came to the bank, I have an elite clue scroll. So I'm going to go and do that first. And then I'm probably just going to head over to Rune Dragons. Like, I quite enjoy AFK in them. And now I've got the Dragon Hunter Lance. It is amazing there. Also, just on a quick note of that, I noticed that the Grazia Rapier is actually ridiculously cheap at the moment. If that drops to below 150 mil, I'm going to be selling some stuff in my bank and buying it instantly. Just because I think at 150, even at this price, to be honest with you, it is a fantastic steal. It is such a good weapon. It's basically like having a technical whip constant. I think the reason it's crashing so much at the moment is just because the Dragon Hunter Lance is so good um, in most places. So there's no real like need for the Rapier. It's just like best in the slot for trading Slayer. So um, yeah, but in, for me, in fairness, that is what I want. I want a weapon that is versatile and that I can use pretty much everywhere. And I've got the Dragon Hunter Lance anyway. So I'm not going to be selling that off anytime soon because that is going to pay tenfold when I start doing some solo raids. And yes, that is one of my plans to start off very soon is to learn how to solo raids just because at the moment everyone seems to be getting twisted bows. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I'll join you back with a casket from this uh, elite clue scroll and uh, yeah, then we'll start going killing some rune dragons. Also, a quick note, I did sell the dragon claws just so I got the cash in my bank. Uh, I was going to do some flipping, but I really can't be bothered. So at the moment, it's just sat there doing pretty much nothing. All right, we're joining you back with a casket as always. Let's just open it exactly here. Holy balls, that is terrible. What even are these clue scrolls? Like, who designed that from an elite clue scroll? Like, come on, bro. Right, I'm going to go to Rune Dragons for a little bit anyway, because I can AFK there. Okay, so I'm joining you back quicker than I was anticipating, to be fair. This is the next day now. In the previous clip, I did mention that if the Grazia Rapier started to go up in price at all, I was going to buy it, because I'm happy buying it at the price that it's at at the moment. It's 152 mil and it's going up. Um, and yeah, I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. I don't mind if it crashes, uh, but I will be gutted if it goes up in price and I can't afford it. That's happened to me with Dragon Hunter Crossbow before in the past. I was like, this is going to be a really good weapon. Never bought it and look at it now. It's like a, well, it was like 180 mil from like 20 mil. So what I'm going to be doing is I've sold off most of the stuff, as you can see, in my bank. Sold my um, Tower Roman God Sword and I'm going to be selling my Brimstone Ring and my Bando's Chestplate. The rest of the money uh, has basically come from selling the claws and clearing out my junk. Uh, it's not my junk, really. My drops tab as well as anything else in the bank that I can clear. Uh, we're still having the money for construction, which we have here. Don't worry, guys. I'm still going to be getting that up in this episode. Um, but yeah, I've cleared a few things out of my bank because I really want this Grazia Rapier. So I'm going to go ahead and just sell the Brimstone Ring now. Uh, I've, obviously, as you can see, I've been selling some stuff. And hopefully, we should be able to insta-buy the Grazia Rapier. 155 mil. Right, it's actually going for 152 and a half mil. So I'm going to try and buy it for that. I'll join you back in a second when the Grand Exchange offer has completed. Yes, boys. We've done it. Bought ourselves a rapier. So I've got two mil cash left as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. Right, let's move this up here now and let's get rid of Zamirakin Hasta. I don't think I'm ever going to need a Hasta again now that we have. Come on, bro. Now we have our hands on the rapier. Oh my God, I'm so freaking happy. So let's put on my best in slot gear uh, that I currently have and let's see how pogging this actually looks. I am freaking excited. So uh, obviously the... Uh, I wouldn't be using the Serpentine Helmet unless I am bossing, but just having that rapier, like 158 stab bonus. And like I said before, it is comparable to the Tentacle Whip, uh, apart from it doesn't degrade. So, oh, actually, no, it's better than the Tentacle Whip. I actually thought it was just as good as the Tentacle Whip. Okay, I was wrong. Wow, okay, I'm even happier about my purchase now. And obviously, it's got one more... Oh, actually, no, it's got quite a bit more strength bonus as well. Wow, okay, yeah. I am absolutely dumbfounded by that. That is amazing. And currently, I've just looked at um, GE Tracker. I could flip this for 500k at the moment, which is nice. But uh, I'm going to keep it. It's an investment on the account. I don't think I'm ever going to sell it. Uh, I'm really happy. I've got the best in slot stab weapon now. Perfect. Don't think I'm ever going to need the tentacle whip or the... Actually, what is the attack styles that you can use on this? That would be awesome to know, actually. Let's have a quick look. So we equip that. 
Uh, we can train attack with it, strength with it, and defense with it all on stab. So there's technically no need for a whip. So I can get rid of both of those. Wow. And I'm joining you back just after we've gotten ourselves level 87 fishing. Now, I'm actually going to be doing something very different today. Something I don't do too often. And I'm going to be going killing revenants. Now, this week is the week of the dead man Tony. So, I'm hoping that the PK worlds are actually pretty quiet. Uh, and I can head over and get myself some really good loot. Now, I'm not hoping to get any of the rare items. Uh, just the normal items from revs is fantastic enough as it is. So, I'm not going to be sculling when I go there. So, hopefully, there shouldn't be a high target for PK. Uh, I don't know what gear I'm going to go in, but I don't know. I'm going to go and see how much money we can make. Now, my loot tab is pretty much empty. I'll tell you what, let's go and show you in the bank real quickly. All right, so let's bank everything completely. All right, so we've got 725 mil. Now, the uh, rapier is dropping a little bit in price. Uh, how much is it currently going for? 147 mil. I think that's going to keep going down in price, but like I said, I bought it as an investment and I honestly don't mind losing money. So this is currently my loot tab. It's just whatever I've done on um, Rune Dragons and stuff since I've been AFK and things. But what I'm going to go do now is go and kill some Revenants. So I'll show you this tab afterwards. And obviously, if we do get something really rare, uh, it'll be incredible because I won't be sculled for a start. Uh, so it will be super rare and I'll record it, obviously. Also, if we get PK'd and stuff, I'm just going to probably stop doing this. But fingers crossed we don't and we can smash out some money. So I'll join you back when we're done. Yeah, so I, uh, you know, I keep saying I want to do Dagonoff King so I don't do Konar Slayer anymore. I thought I'd do a couple of tasks and I'm using NPC Contact to use Konar. And she just gave me DKs. So, I mean, I can go and kill 35 of them. It's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. Nice. I actually didn't think I'd ever get a freaking boss task off her. All she seems to do is give me drakes and freaking what's the other one? Worms. But hey, DKs. Let's go, baby. All right, so it has been a little while since I've recorded on this account. However, I have still been busy grinding. So I've mainly been killing some rune dragons, as you can see from these dragon limbs we got. I don't have a recording from it, unfortunately. I was on mobile. However, I do have a picture somewhere in the Discord. So if I remember, I'll throw it up on screen now. And I've also been killing a little bit of revenants now. Not too many. Um, obviously, it's like rifle with PKs, so not too much. But anyway, uh, the whole point of recording this is I'm going doing some raids with the lads. It has been a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and buy myself a Bando's chest plate. I should be able to afford it if I sell this tab, plus the rune bars and stuff that we've collected from the rune dragons. Um, all right, so we're not quite level 92 construction just yet. However, the planks are still in the bank. We have gotten ourselves, though, to 87. So before we do go to 92, I've been trying to make some money by doing medium clue scrolls. And I just think by having the teleport option, or at least having all the teleport options unlocked at the moment, is going to be very beneficial for the account. So what I'm going to do is attempt to get a plus two boost. Because a plus two boost with the uh, crystal saw should give me access to build the portal nexus. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get that plus two boost. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long. We've got the orange spices. Uh, I'm going to be putting three in it just in case. And I'll join you back in a second when we get the boost. Obviously I want to go into build mode as well. Just in case we do get it. Don't want to lose that boost. There we go. That's a plus two boost. Crystalline portal nexus upgraded. I think now I'm pretty confident we can put every single teleport in there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Hopefully, it shouldn't take us too long. I think I've got all the teleport runes anyway in the bank. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll join you back once we've finished. Well, that's a shame. It looks like I can't add the last uh, teleport because you need level 96 magic. Now, I did boost. I am actually currently at level 99 according to my stats, uh, which is strange that it won't actually let me do that because if I teleported to the location, I'd be fine by boosting up. Obviously, I'm not in the ancient spellbook at the moment. So, that's a shame, but we have got every other teleport in there, which is amazing to see. I'm really happy with that, actually. That was cool. Sweet. Is it not in alphabetical order, though? That's kind of annoying. Can you change the order of this? Let's see. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go through and make this alphabetical. Right, there we go. Now it is in alphabetical order, so that should be incredibly easy to find whichever, oh, sorry, whichever teleport that I do need. Right, nice. Let's move on now, and finally, let's go and do some more clue scrolls. I've currently got, like, 1,500 in the bank or something, so I'm going to go ahead, well, sorry, 1,500 eclectics in the bank. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, turn all them into clue scrolls, or as many that I can. And uh, we'll do a clue scroll opening. Like Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since I've recorded anything for RuneScape, but 
uh, we should be back now to pretty much some regular content. Now, this is obviously halfway through a video, I believe, uh, so I do apologize for the gap in content recently. However, uh, obviously I had some bad news and stuff, but let's not dwell on that too much. I am doing a heck of a lot of clue scrolls at the moment just because I find them enjoyable uh, and it's just stuff I can do on the side. Don't have to pay too much attention to it and stuff. So it's just something to keep me busy. Now, uh, I get a lot of clue scrolls from mediums that tell me to come to the Barbarian Village Bridge. And uh, I lost my Skull Scepter a long time ago, and that was because you didn't have the update where you can uh, get it imbued or whatever. However, obviously now you can get them imbued, so I thought I might as well come here, get all the Skull Scepter pieces, and then get it imbued. And then hopefully, we can just keep recharging it with uh, Skull Pieces, which we can get off these Minotaurs over here. So obviously I do need to get the entire Skull Scepter again, um, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think it's like a 3% chance of each monster dropping it, so what's that, about 33 kills of each on average, and I should have the... Um, the full scepter again. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll join you back once I have finished. I'm not even joking. Every piece of this was about five, maybe ten kills. Legit. Apart from the top of the scepter, or scepter, however you want to pronounce it. Like, let's just go into my game. Like, look at how many times I was weakened. I even got a medium and clue scroll. It took me about 200 kills. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have my loot tracker on. Uh, so it only shows like 72 there. But I, I'm, I swear to you, it took me around about 300 kills to get that, that is ridiculous. Anyway, let's uh, make the full scepter and then go and use it on the guy. I think he's in there, let's go find out. Okay, so I had to show him either the fancy boots or the fighting boots, that's ridiculous. Why do I have to do that? Just bloody imbue it, there we go, sweet. Now I think all we need to do is use other pieces on it and it charges them, uh, I obviously don't want that. Sorry, it charges it. So how many does it currently have? I think it's divine. So that's 11 charges. I think that's, some, I don't know how many it holds. I have no idea. I'm going to do some research on it. Now, that. originally, I did plan to make an entire video on this. However, there's just so many clue scroll videos out at the moment. I thought I'd just mix it in with this video. I might as well. So, after doing 1,500 eclectic implants, we got 78 caskets. Now, I did accidentally open one of them, uh, and we got this, as well as something really trivial. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't anything spectacular. So... Uh, 27k pretty much from that clue that I accidentally opened. So, uh, obviously the invent that I currently have is everything apart from the clue score rewards. This is just a random loot that you get. Uh, obviously some of the implant jars break. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that is 100% accurate. Uh, I think it might be around about 1300, but I'm not too sure, so I'm just going to leave it in there anyway. To be honest with you, it's not really worth it because you're going to be losing so much money. As you can see here, I bought a thousand of them for 5.1 mil. And then I bought another 500 for, um, what did I get there? 2.1 mil and 300k pretty much. So as you can tell, they were quite expensive. So as you can tell, uh, eclectic and, well, basically implings at the moment that provide clue scrolls are incredibly, incredibly expensive. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to take out all of these. Uh, I'm going to go into this tab, I'm going to start opening them, and I will let you know if we get anything decent. If not, I'll just be filling up this tab. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll record it and put some music over the top of it, because I know some guys do appreciate that. If you don't, however, uh, just skip ahead to the time shown on screen now, and you can just see the loot. went ahead and got ourselves a master clue scroll so what i'm going to do quickly is complete this master uh and then i'll join you back afterwards because obviously that could give us a mimic which i really really freaking want so i'm going to do this master clue scroll first and then we'll carry on with the clue scroll opening god damn it so apparently i need to request it before i can get the shadow sword i need to do the general's shadow it's the only thing i haven't completed apart from the enchanted key now i don't know why i've done half of this and not the the rest of it but I don't know, let's go into the general shadow. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long. There we go. Mini quest completed. 2,000 Slayer XP, not bad. As well as the shadow sword, not bad. So if we equip that, oh, it's a two-handed sword. Not gonna lie, that does actually look pretty sick. Some flash escape there, but not many people have this as well. People don't like doing quests of this, so I doubt a lot of people have gone out of the way to get this. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead now and complete this clue scroll. Right, there we go, we completed the uh, master casket, so let's carry on opening up these mediums and hopefully get something good, so I'll resume the music, enjoy. Oh 
Okay, so there's our first pair of boots. Unfortunately, it is the holy sandals, but I can't complain too much. 600k is not bad. There we go, another master. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll uh, join you back to finish off these last 25. Hopefully one of these last 25 does contain a pair of range boots, otherwise it was certainly not worth doing. So obviously the whole point of opening Eclectics for, sorry, for medium clue scrolls is the better chance to get those range boots. Now they could have been ranges, but unfortunately we were unlucky. Anyway, let's go and smash out this master clue scroll. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long because the uh, masters can take a while. All right, and that is our next Master clue done, so I go two. Right, 25 more medium casts to go, and then we are finally done. So I'll roll these again. Enjoy. Oh my god, I cannot believe we actually just got a pair of freaking range boots. 31 mil. I was literally two more to go. There you go, boys. It was all worth it. Get us another pet, and uh, it was worth it, though. Sweet. If we didn't get those range boots, unfortunately, it would not have been worth it. However, we did. I'm going to quickly clear up this tab just so it looks a little bit nicer just before we do end off this episode. All right, and this is the final loot tab. So this is everything that we got from those 75 clue scrolls or whatever it was. Now, there are two master caskets here. However, I'm going to leave you guys hanging. I'm not going to be opening them in this episode. I'm going to wait until the next episode. Now, the reason I'm doing that is just because uh, I don't really have time to go and fight and mimic and stuff. This video is already getting quite long. So, plus, it'll draw you in for the next time. Uh, anyway, we were really lucky, obviously, in these 75 medium clue scrolls that we opened, getting a pair of ranger boots. And they're the only thing that I'm going to be selling out of this tab, just because um, the items and stuff at the moment are crashing really hard. And that's just because so many people are doing clue scrolls. So I'm going to keep them for a little bit just until they go back up in value. Uh, and I'm going to be doing more stuff like this in the future just because I absolutely freaking love it. Uh, I might do like a 250 clue scroll opening or something like that from mediums. If you guys do want to see that, make sure you hit that like button. If I hit like, I don't know, let's say, if I can hit over 100 likes on this video, um, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll start working on it straight away. So, uh, apart from that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I do again apologize for how long it took to get out, but obviously if you guys have been following me on social media and stuff, you'll understand why. Uh, I should have a bit of free time now, so hopefully get back onto a schedule and things. Still starting a few things out at the moment, but should be back to normal pretty soon. Anyway, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.